Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to something a little different, but also something very similar to what I normally do. I am a guy that likes indie games, and I'm a guy that likes to promote them, I guess. And normally, I don't really talk about my personal opinions when it comes to political matters, or social issues, or so on and so forth, just because I like to see my channel as more of a safe place for people to kind of congregate and take a load off and not really think about the rest of the world. But that only works so much as there are causes that, you know, I can just be silent on. But I I can't afford to be silent on this one, and I feel like most people can't either. And so that's why I'm going to speak about it a little bit within my wheelhouse. This is something that I can talk about. This is something I can do. Uh, so recently, itch.io, which is a company much like Steam, Good Old Games, or Epic, uh, hosts games on their website, sells them. But it tends to be more prototype early access in development stuff. But not always. Uh, there's some games like Oxenfree and uh, even some tabletop pen and paper board games, which is really cool. Uh, so they they have a whole gamut, and they've put together this incredible bundle of 742 games, games as a charity fundraiser, specifically for the NAACP Legal Defense and Educational Fund and the Community Bail Fund, which, for those of you not paying attention to uh, America right now, we are experiencing a period of extreme social upheaval upheaval and uprisings and it's a good thing it's something that we should have been talking about we should have been angry about for years and have been here and there but i think it's it's kind of finally time that all the stuff is finally bubbling over and people are are really truly ready to talk about you know racial inequality not just in the u.s necessarily in the world as a whole but specifically Right now in the U.S., we've we've had issues upon issues that we've swept under the rug, and it's uh, honestly just kind of terrible. And I could go on for so long to talk about, you know, the issues that we face, but that's... I'm not the person to do that. There are better people to talk about that sort of thing than me. On the other hand, I'm good at talking about video games, and this bundle is incredible. So, beyond the fact that it is, it is, you know, for a great cause. It is also incredibly dirt cheap. 742 games for five bucks. That's the minimum buy-in. I've paid a lot more than that for this this bundle. And if you do feel like picking this up, this up, I would highly encourage you to do the same, as it truly does go to a good cause. And all of it goes to a good cause. None of none of this is for profit. Nobody's keeping a penny. And I just. I don't usually get to promote games in this manner, and I think this is really cool. As such, I figured I'd start with making this video, just to show off the bundle, to see what's in it. There's a lot of really good stuff. And also to say that I'm going to be, I think, talking a little bit more openly about a lot of my opinions, but also that I'm going to be streaming a lot of these games and recording a lot of these games and putting them up over the next couple of days, because I think they deserve to be celebrated, and I feel like this cause should be signal boosted more. More than it already is, and I know it's echoing across the internet left and right for days, and I'm sure a number of people are probably tired of it, but you know what? It needs to be said, and it needs to be echoed, and it needs to be heard, because so many people have been so silent on this for so long, and so many people have tried to sil silence it for so long, and that's a problem. So. Starting today, just going to start diving into a lot of these games. But first, let's take a look at a couple of them, just so those of you that do want to pick up this bundle can see what you'd be getting into. And I'm not even going to be able to talk about maybe 1% of them. So let's quick scroll down and take a look at some of the ones that really stood out to me, just because I feel like, you know, kind of want to show off what you might be getting if you if you do decide to pick this up. I It feels weird to be a salesman. But anyway, so I, I kind of waggled my mouse at Oxenfree. This is an incredible game. Made me super depressed for like a little while. It was one of the first games that I ever played that had an ending that I hated. I appreciated, but I hated it. It was so good. It was so good. And it's got such a lovely art style, too. Uh, it reminded me a, lo a lot of Telltale games, but it felt like it had more teeth. Uh, Lancer, which I'd never heard of up until I saw it in the bundle, is a uh, mecha pen and paper RPG uh, filled with some really swank art, too. Here, let's pop out of this for a second just so we can show some of it off. So, cover art. But, like, even in the game, like, look at that mech, it's wild. 
and they very clearly have put a lot of effort into figuring out, like, core stats and mechanics, and holy crap, I'm gonna actually have to study a book, and it's got, like, three, four hundred pages in it. That's incredible. I I can't wait to uh, to dive into that one. It's gonna take me a little bit to put together a campaign, but I guarantee that I will try and do at least a, a one-off for Lancer. If not a little bit more than that, what else we got? We got Night in the Woods, which is a bit of a mixed bag for me. Uh, there are some... There are... There are some behind-the-scenes problems with this game, but otherwise, it is still probably one of the best social commentaries on American life in a dying town. I think specifically kind of in the Rust Belt era. Era? Area. Where all the industry has moved on and everybody is just kind of struggling to keep their heads above water and find their place in the world and, you know, figure out how to escape, almost. And that that is one of those games that I, I still vividly remember almost every plot detail and every lesson to be learned from it. And I will always point to that as probably one of the best narrative walking simulators uh, that I've ever played and probably ever will play. Uh, what else do we got? Uh, let's see. Reki, which I don't even know. This was sent to me a couple weeks ago and I kind of passed on it uh, just because cool puzzle games, but cool puzzle games don't work so great for me. Uh, but I will probably take a look at this one. This one's tough. I really wanted to play this game. I've been looking forward to it for years. It came out a couple weeks ago, and when I finally was going to get off my butt to actually record uh, my first episode, that was uh, specifically when this whole thing kicked off, and I was like, I think it would be in poor taste. I'm glad they're part of this bundle, as ultimately I think it does fit, but I feel like it is... It doesn't match the tone of what I specifically would want to promote, but I'm glad it's here all the same, and I'm glad they are supporting the cause. Even so soon after release, like that, most most of these games have been out for a year, a couple months, a long time, uh, but this one, this one is recent, and that means a lot. Uh, Short Hike, which is probably one of the better uh, examples of, I'm going to say, adolescent anxiety I've ever seen uh, told through a video game, uh, you know, kind of finally leaving uh, parental supervision and kind of striking out on your own for a little while and the struggles within that. That's also just a lovely, fun little collect-a-thon where you're just flying around, climbing a mountain slowly and gathering feathers so you can, well, fly longer and farther. And that's, I don't know, it was just a really cool game. Uh, let's see, I know Overland was good. I tried playing it, I couldn't get into it, but I know it was good and everybody loved it. One Shot. This is a game that a lot of people suggested to me a while back, but I just kind of missed the bus on it. I think it was on vacation, and I never really had a good excuse to come back to it. And now I'm finally going to get the chance to play it. Uh, Plunge. I played this game a while ago and liked it. It's by a local company, at least local to me. And it's effectively a kinetic, old-school-ish roguelike where you're charging at enemies to hit them, but also using that same charge to avoid their attacks, which I thought was really cool. Uh, somebody said this was really good. I have no idea what it's going to be, but I'm going to play it tonight. Uh, what else do we got? There's so many. I mean, I'm just going to sc scroll down. We got Minute. We've got... Uh, let's see. Admittedly, a lot of these are, are games most people probably have never heard of, but some of them have. Minute was great. I really loved it. Uh, this game looks amazing. When I'd lay in the dinner party... As far as visual novels go, I'm usually not interested in them because they tend to be on the dating side. And this one is much more on the, like, comic book narrative side. And, oh, I love that. I wish there were more like it. Uh, this is like a, a Celtic game where you're playing as an archer defending your forest against a bunch of robots. And it looks amazing. I'll give it a go. Hopefully it's as good as it looks. Mid-boss, I really loved this game a long time ago. Uh, where you're playing as, like, an imp and you're taking over monsters after you've defeated them and use their their powers to kind of uh, push through and fight more monsters and kind of slowly scale up. It was probably one of the best old school roguelikes I've ever played and I enjoyed my time with it. Ladybots, which I probably should play at some point, it just looks really cool. Uh, this game looks pretty. I was drawn to it because I thought it was like the world ends with you, but uh, it's not at all the same. But it still looks like a, a pretty game based on the screenshots that I can see. 
And I'm just going to keep going. I'd love to talk about every single one of these. Every single one that stands out. This one, Airships Conquer the Sky. I'll talk about that one a little bit. Uh, if you come to my Twitch channel, I've got a quote. Uh, I don't remember which one it is, but effectively it is, My duck is unreasonably large. And it's probably one of, the favorite, one of my favorite things I've ever said while recording on this channel. And it's because I made a giant flying duck uh, covered in guns in an attempt to beat uh, one of my friend's... You know, equally armed flying duck. I lost terribly, uh, but the fact that this game let me do that was so good. And I want to do another kind of battle tourney uh, in much the same manner. Beacon was really good. If you saw my recent videos on Synthetic, it's a very similar game. Uh, but kind of more linear and you're mutating as you go along and you can carry a little bit of that over with you. Uh, which is cool. Signs of the Sojourner, another game that came out very recently uh, that was very peaceful and meditative. And I'm glad they're including it, just because it, it fits so well. And it's such a charming little game. And yeah, I'll just keep going, and going, and going, and going. There's so much. And it it's going to get, like, it's going to get uh, an expansion. It, it's going to have more added. There we go. I can word. And I think that's just so cool. I'm actually really looking forward to what does get added. Uh, Double Cross. Shell and I really loved this game. It was really charming uh, across the board. And it was a very competent you know, narrative-based platform in exactly the same vein as, uh, oh, shoot. I have totally, Nefarious, there we go. I was like, it's not mischievous. I was close. Uh, but there are very few good narrative platformers, in my opinion. Uh, but both of those really stood out, and then Double Cross, specifically in this bundle, is real good. Luna is real pretty. I can't wait to try that one. Uh, let's see. And yeah, I, I'm just going to keep going. I, I could talk about so many of these, because so many of them look so good. And so what I'm going to do instead is I'm actually going to show a lot of them off. One, because I want this bundle to succeed. Let's go all the way back up to the top. They already have raised over a million dollars. Their original goal was a million dollars. When I woke up today, they were at 400000 And over the past seven hours, they've gained 700000 And I'd love to see them smash that $2 million goal. Smash the $3 million goal. You know, just, just keep going up, because... This, this bundle matters. This cause matters. And I've been beating myself up over this a little bit because I have been too silent. I should talk about these things. Why not? You know, I, I can't just call myself a good person and be silent to injustices left and right. Just because, you know, I want to preserve my channel because I want to preserve some semblance of peace. Because ultimately, that would be fake. And honestly... That's kind of cowardly of me to stick with. I I need to be honest about who I am. So, I guess with this, I'm starting to ramble, and ultimately, I've said my piece, at least for now. I have so many other things to talk about. Uh, but for those of you that do pick this bundle up, I, I'm glad you made that decision. And I hope you find some cool games to enjoy. I guess as part of that, actually, if there are any particularly notable games uh, that you see as part of this bundle that you'd like me to try out, let me know, because like I said, I really do want to check out as many of these as I possibly can uh, over the next week or so. The next uh, nine days, eight hours, and three minutes, according to, you, you know, when I took this screenshot to talk over. But, uh, you know, I, I, I want this bundle to do well. I want people to spread the word as much as possible. And you know what? If that means a lot of people get some really cool games as part of it, then so be it. That's worthy in its own way. Uh, so, yeah. And I will have links down in the description below to what this is, what is going on, uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, so I guess with this, thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you on the first game, which I don't even know which one I'm going to start with. There's a lot of roguelikes in there. I'll probably start with that. Also, I guess quick final shout-out-ish, uh, specifically to Pop Sky, who uh, more or less lets anybody use his music in their videos. And he's also uh, been promoting this bundle fairly hard on his own Twitter and stuff. And so I, I chose his music specifically to go along with this one. Uh, he's a good musician, and I'm I'm glad I could listen to it while I was recording this.